Greetings, I, the War Al greets you, and welcome to the world of tanks. Wargaming is doing a promotion for the aforementioned competitive tank simulator, and being an owl wise in all ways of warfare, there is none better to spread the word of tanky goodness than myself. This video is sponsored. This video is sponsored. This video is sponsored. How's that for disclosure? If you're a new player and would like to get a head start in World of Tanks, the first 300 viewers of this video can get seven days of premium time, 250 gold, and a free Churchill 3 tank. Click on the link in the description below and use offer code IAMTANKER2016. World of Tanks is free to play, so there's really nothing to lose by just signing up and trying it out. This video is a quick overview of what to expect when getting started in the game. I only take sponsorships for games that I think you, my audience, are really going to enjoy. And that's people geared more towards the hardcore competitive side of gaming. Skill-based games. The game has a thriving esports scene and can be very interesting to watch. World of Tanks is an armored warfare simulator where you take control of one of over 450 authentic tanks of varying statistics. Light tanks are quick and great at spotting enemies. In World of Tanks, your team has to spot an enemy for it to show up in the game and on radar, so light tanks tend to scout out and get that intel. On the negative side, they're very squishy and easy to kill, and they don't do very much damage. Medium tanks are your jack of all trades. It can deal out damage, take damage, and some can have good mobility and spotting like a light tank. It really varies by a specific tank and how you set it up. Back in ye olden days when everybody in the world was trying to blow each other up, tank classifications were done by weight, so medium tanks are just heavier than light tanks. Heavy tanks, on the other hand, can deal a large amount of damage and can take a large amount of damage. Heavy tanks are used to push and hold lines. Their only real negative is their lack of mobility, and this can make them a target. In the games that I've played, medium and light tanks tend to try and escort the heavy tanks into position. To take out a heavy tank, enemy tanks tend to try to outflank them because they take a lot more damage when shooting them in the back. But then, there's the Tank Destroyer. Since World of Tanks is slightly fictionalized, understand that tank destroyers were designed in order to kill other tanks, as the name would suggest. The German Panzerjäger, for example, was basically just an anti-tank artillery gun that they put on some treads. These guys are hunters, sneaking around the map and holding long angles. They can do a large amount of damage and can't really take very much damage, though. They're your glass cannons. Artillery in World of Tanks are completely different than everything else. They fire by using a top-down view and can be accurate over very long distances and arc over terrain. You can see from the footage how important cover is when going up against an artillery. Hiding yourself in shrubberies may prevent detection for a bit, but once you're spotted, you're a prime target for artillery from a mile away. Because some players like to play defense on the point, artilleries can chill in some shrubs somewhere nearby, so they can be protected from from scouting light tanks who are looking for them. There's a lot of different moving parts to World of Tanks. Your garage is where you research new tanks and upgrade your current tanks. But when you get out on the battlefield, the game becomes more of an action strategy game. The shooting mechanics take some time to get used to. You need to decide which shells you're going to use in specific situations. Moving your tank will cause inaccuracy, which will slowly come back as you stay still. This even extends to moving the turret around to aim, which means holding steady to shoot is a skill you'll need to develop. Of course, sometimes your shots are just gonna come down to RNG. If you're engaging close up and you need to focus on movement, you can lock on to the enemy tank so that you're always looking directly at them. From examining the shooting mechanics, you can start to see how strategy plays into the game. Holding angles is ideal. Jiggle peeking corners to shoot while reloading and baiting out shots makes a lot of sense, because if you're spotted, the enemy player basically gets wall hacks on you. It's also a very, 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 very team-based game. Going off on your own is most likely death. Rushing the battlefield without a coordinated assault is most likely death. And sometimes just chilling and waiting is most likely death. I've noticed good players that I've matched with tend to know the maps very, very well. They sit in specific spots that have very specific angles that they watch. And there's a lot of maps, but you only really need to learn whatever map is in the current map pool at the time, which will change. So you kind of have to keep up to date on what maps you're going to be playing. 
There's a lot of depth to the game that makes it engaging and can give you a very large and addicting playtime. I'm assuming most new players will get owned over and over again until they figure it out, but being the War Owl, I was actually able to win my first 12 battles in a row. But being given a press account with all the tanks unlocked may have had something to do with it. We're gonna go on a little bit of an adventure, friends. We're gonna film one entire game to give you kind of an idea of the experience of playing World of Tanks. Alright, first thing I like to look at is what we got going on in terms of the uh, tank picks. Only one artillery. Um, a lot of light tanks. Yeah, a pretty even spread of the tanks, so this should be an interesting battle. I don't think this is going to be too one-sided or anything. Of course, we have two extra heavy tanks, which is nice, and we probably want to use that advantage. So I guess I could work on, like, trying to escort some of these guys. Now, the tank that I'm using is a medium tank, but I also have a little bit of extra speed. So you see, I can keep up with the light tanks. So I can hop out here really quickly and get some uh, scouting done. And I want to get to a nice spot on this map. And right up here is a nice little spot. Up on this hill. I like hills like this because I can back down them quickly if I want to uh, get out of uh, the line of fire. So, because I see that that light tank is up there in front of me, I am kind of banking on the fact that he's going to scout somebody out and then I'll be able to, uh, to set up. There we go. Watch out, buddy. Oh, he's not moving. He's done. Oh, he's already getting shot by somebody. If he tries to escape here, I might be able to get a clean shot on him. So a lot of this game is holding angles. No, I'm not going to be able to hit that. Make a move. Uh, somebody else should be able to take him down. Somebody just shot at me, but I'm not spotted, so... Oh, that's him. All right, so I'm worried about guys on our right side here because we won't have a lot of cover for that. Okay, they spotted. Oh my gosh, okay. I'll try and get a shot off and then get out of here. Is that our light tank taking out that? Yeah. Oh boy. Well, time to get the heck out of here. Get out of my way, tree. Woo, I just, oh, hoo, hoo. I just dodged that. Not a good idea to turn your back, but I wanted to get out of there quickly. All right, screw that. I'm going to go help with these guys uh, since I got spotted up there. Oh, my gosh. Lots of heavy tanks, too. Let's just focus on this guy since he's kind of off on his own. He might be protecting something, too. Yeah, they still have their artillery up. All right. I'm going to go for him. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Let's try and get, like, specific parts of him. Ramming speed, Mr. Sulu! I need to hit. Oh my gosh, hit the treads. He's trying to get around me. I'm using armor piercing. I... Okay, one more hit, one more hit, one more hit. Where are you shooting, you noob? Oh my gosh. Yeah! Oh! 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 And I'll get close. I want to switch. Oh! Well, I got him low. I won't be able to survive this, will I? Oh, I got him very low. Very low. Very low. Yeah! <laughs> How we doing? Wow, we're doing great right now. I'm going to quickly rejoin the battle. Because I'm going to get a really, really good angle on these guys. From behind them. Let me switch back to these rounds. Or these shells. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, sweet. We're gonna be. Let's let's try to flank the heavy tank. That'll help my team big time. I'll ignore those. Hopefully, they won't see me. Yes, heavy tank. Time of death is nigh. I think we're gonna be right behind him. Oh, that's not behind him. Well, whatever. We did a crap ton of damage to him. I know there's two guys to my left too, so I'm worried about that. But I think my team's helping out with this guy big time. He, if he hits me once, I think I'm down, so we gotta be really careful here. He doesn't know! He doesn't know! He doesn't know! Oh, that's not good. I think I bounced right off the top of him. Let's, hope for, let's head for the treads. Yeah. I think I took out the treads. Let's try to do some damage to him here. Yeah, he's almost down. He's almost down. He's almost down. Yeah! 
All right. Woo! All right. I'm gonna try to push him out of the way and get behind these as cover. We got a guy up here, coming for me. Oh, he's coming right for me. Oh boy. Oh boy. He's got a hundred health too. Oh, nice. My teammates are helping out. Oh, he's dead immediately. <laughs> what do we got left? Uh, we got two tanks. Oh, tank destroyer. Tank destroyer. Oh my gosh, I'm dead. <laughs> Well, I guess the tank destroyer did his job. I'm pretty sure we're gonna win this though. We have four heavy tanks left. Um, all they have are the, I mean, they could clutch it. You never know. But I think we've got a huge advantage here. So this guy's hiding, just wasting our time. And it looks like we're gonna win by a base capture, which I rarely see. Normally in these like quick play games, um, you end up just killing them because eventually he'll just rush them and, and die on purpose, but, or try to just move around and try to kill some stuff. But yeah, we won. That's that was like legitimately awesome. So we can look at how, how personally I did, which is nice. So I killed these three tanks. Let's check out the uh, team score. Nice. If we sort by damage done. I am at the top. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry. I honestly hope you'll give World of Tanks a try and see if it's the kind of game you could get interested in. Don't forget about the free stuff in the description. And another thanks to Wargaming for sponsoring this video. I like money. I'm the War Owl and I still have no closer.